Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some things that you should not do when prepping and planning for the upcoming school year. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you've been with me before, welcome back. Okay, let's talk about it. This is gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. The first thing that you do not want to do when preparing for the school year is forget to pray and plan your mind for what you are about to begin. It sounds really simple. And it's like, who would forget to do that? But we get caught up in the hustle and bustle and looking at the curriculum and planning all of these other things around the start of our homeschool that sometimes we forget to place all of that, including ourselves, in the hands of God. Don't do that, y'all. It's not fun. The next thing that you should not do is not plan out an overall broad look of your school year. I know that some people are weekly planners, monthly planners. We do like a four or five week type of plan here, but I also do an overall yearly plan. Like what is our school year going to look like? What days are we taking off? When are we taking breaks for holidays? Are we going out of town? Are we having birthdays that are falling in the middle of the week? An overall yearly plan really helps for you to get a broad view of what your school year is going to look like and how to prepare for things that may be coming up. Another thing that you don't wanna do is not look at curriculum for the upcoming school year simply because you used the previous level the year before. Let me explain that. My daughter has used sex and math since 5-4. She's done 5-4, 6-5, 7-6, and now she is in 8-7. There's no way that I would have gone into 8-7 thinking, ah, she's used it for the last three years. There can't possibly be that much of a difference. Wrong. There can be drastic changes from one level to the next. And this is a part of your preparation, probably before you even bought the curriculum. But once you choose to buy it, I still say, go through this curriculum. And it may be one of the last pieces of curriculum that you look at simply because you have used it for the past three years. However, you don't want to neglect to look at that curriculum because there may be some surprises in there that you were not expecting. Another thing that I say do not do in prepping for your school year is not provide a baseline schedule or flow for your days. And this is not an overall look at your schedule. For the year, it is more of what is my daily flow going to look like? Are we starting with math, ELA? Are we doing Bible and history in the morning at the table and then doing art in the evening? Or are we doing science Monday, Wednesday, Friday? You need to have some form of a baseline flow for your day and when you're going to touch on the different curriculum because then you can make adjustments from there. A lot of times if we start with nothing, it makes it really hard to visualize everything. Even if you go throughout the day and you make changes to your baseline schedule and say, we spent 45 minutes here where I had scheduled for us to spend an hour and a half. We may not need the full hour and a half and maybe you meet somewhere in the middle for unexpected things. Just to have a baseline of how long it's going to take you to school, what you're going to be including for each and every day and make adjustments as you go along. I always say the first two to four weeks are just really trying to get you in the groove of what your school year could look like and really settling into your schedule. But I always say start with some form of a baseline schedule before you get started and you can make adjustments from there. Another thing I'm going to say do not do when prepping for the school year and that is don't forget to make the first day something special that your children will remember that they know signifies this is the start of the new school year. Bye guys. 